it's Megan. I got two of the new Lorac Alter Ego lipsticks, and these are $16, and they are, I should have checked this before, 0.12 ounce, so that's about the normal size of a lipstick, and they look like this, so you can see the color on the bottom. This is the old Lorac lipstick, so I like the new packaging better. Uh, they have 20 colors, which is pretty amazing, and they call it a satin matte on the website. They say, instantly transform your look. Highly pigmented, coat your lips with luscious colors, satin finish that last. It's ultra rich, velvety smooth formula, loaded with anti-aging oxidants such as acai berry, which I can't pronounce ever, pomegranate, grapeseed extract, vitamin C, and E to help hydrate, nourish, and condition. And they have no shimmer or sparkle, and they say it's supposed to be a smooth, even appearance. I really like these, and I will tell you why. First of all, the price point's great, $16. I don't think you can find a better kind of classic lipstick than the Lorac formula here. Uh, they are matte, and they don't have shimmer, glitter, whatever. So I'll show you the two I have and swatches, but I do want to compare it to the old formula. I think the old formula was a little bit more satiny, shiny than the new formula. So I have two. I've got... CEO Dusty Rose, which I'll put out in a minute. It looks like that. And it really is a Dusty Rose. A little bit of a mauve undertone. It's a very rich, deep color. That's what it looks like. It's a very rich, deep color. I can see this as being kind of a work power color. Um, I don't know. I just like the name. I like the, I like the imagery of CEO. Kind of fun. And the next color I have is on my lips right now, and it's Girl Next Door, which is light coral. I think it's coral. I think it's more peach. There's a little bit more of a peach pink undertone to it than I expected. It's also a little bit brighter than I expected, which is fun. I, l I actually love the color. It's just not exactly what I expected. So that's what it look like, looks like on. And I think it looks pinker, pinker on my wrist than it looks on my lips for some reason. So that's the formula. So you can see it really is very much a matte with a little bit of a satin sheen. But this is not a shiny, super you know, glossy formula. And I've been doing a lot of videos lately for kind of the semi-sheer, sheer, not so long wearing lipsticks because it's been so hot here. It's been like in the 70s and the 80s in Southern California this winter almost all the time. Um, I was looking for kind of lighter formulas. This is beautiful. It applies smooth, creamy, opaque, um, last four or five hours on me, which if you watch my videos a lot, you know is almost unheard of, but it's like this stuff just doesn't wear off, which is similar to the old Lorac formula, and I'm going to compare that right now. The one thing I would say is because this is more of an opaque matte formula, I need to dry the inner part of my lip and right in here before I put the lipstick on, otherwise you can see my natural lip color right in here, um, and it just looks silly. So, this is the old formula. Let me compare it. So that's the old formula and this is the new. This has a little bit more shine. It's still opaque, but it's not quite as, as opaque. Um, that's, that's what I think. So let me show you the other one. And like I said, I really do get an amazing wear out of these. I'm going to take this off. I do this on camera, I've learned because I have very uh, pigmented lips. So let me just dry like this. And then apply the next one. So you can see what I mean. With this particular formula, I don't think the fact that my lips are opaque is gonna make a big difference. It does, you know, on the video or whatever or will make a big difference for you. Sometimes with the super sheer ones, it does. See, it's a strong color. Um, I have nothing bad to say about these. I think they are amazing. I can see where on some people they might be drawing. They're that not a heavy formula, definitely not the heavy formula that we used to all get when we start, when I started wearing lipstick. But this is more of um, a real lipstick feel to it on the lips. And um, I don't have a dry lip problem, but I could see where this might be a little drying. And I read some reviewers say that it hasn't been drying on me, personally. Um, and I don't get any kind of feathering, I don't get any bleeding. This stays 
which is amazing. So overall, I love these a lot. Um, I think at the price point, it's a great deal. And with 20 colors to pick from, you can do pretty much what you expect. On the website, on the Rock's website, they have uh, lips with the lipstick formulas. I think this is darker in real life than it is on the website. And I think this one right here is a little bit more pink than it is on the website. So I would say that the swatches aren't 100% consistent. But other than that, I have nothing else to complain about. Uh, that's it. Um, please subscribe on YouTube. If you have other colors, I would really love to hear what you think because I had such a hard time picking. I just, oh my gosh, it took me forever. It took me probably two weeks before I actually ordered these because I just couldn't figure out what colors to get. And um, doing a video novel on YouTube called Masks where I'm doing this novel chapter by chapter. It's about makeup and the masks we wear and I think that's it. Happy summer!